Welcome! In this video we're going to take a look at how you can detect SMB1 activity on your network. My name is Darren Delaney from Netford. So firstly, why all the fuss? Well, SMB has been around for quite some time. It stands for Server Messaging Block. It's used typically for sharing files and folders on a network, printing. And version 1 came out probably over just over 20 years ago now. Recent times, Microsoft have suggested that you should move away from SMB1. A couple of reasons behind it, it's no longer seen as safe, um, it is vulnerable to certain attacks. By the way, I'll put a link to this video if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be in the description or if you're on our website, it'll be on a link to a blog post. It's not efficient either, so if users are using SMB1 across a WAN link, that can be a very um, inefficient way of moving files around. And the third reason is it's not really necessary. Most modern systems, servers and clients will support version 2 and version 3 of SMB. So really you shouldn't be using it at all. There's no reason why you should have SMB version run, running on your network. Um, typical example where you would find it, if, if you've got SMB 1, if Windows 2000 XP, so very old operating systems, they may use it. Or an old NAS box might use um, version 1. I suppose the problem may be that it's hard to determine what is out on the network running SMB version 1. One way to do it is to use network traffic analysis. So what I have here is a LangGuardian system. It's our own application. You can download this as a virtual machine or you could install it on a piece of hardware. It uses network traffic analysis as, as a data source. So just set up a span on a report. So no need to install client or agent software on your servers or on your desktops. To find out what's running SMB v1, you simply click on all reports under the file share section, just click on more. And the report you're looking for is top file share servers. Select that report, choose a time period, whatever is appropriate, 24 hours, two days, whatever you think. I'd recommend maybe looking at, uh, firstly just look at traffic for maybe an hour, get, get a, just a kind of a quick top level view. Make sure though you select SMB1 here from the version. Run the report and sure enough I find I have a, a server running SMB1. It's Windows 2003 server it looks like. Drill down in the actions and I can see then more detail so I can get the client, so this must be a very old client as well, connected to the server and it looks like it's accessing some patient data. Now with LangGuardian you can also get the associated username, so you have the username, the server and what files they're accessing. So one tip I recommend that you um, do is go back to the SMB1 report and click on actions, save the report off. So I'll just call it SMB1 servers. Just type it in, click on save. And the advantage of doing that is it's easy to find a report now. It's either under your my report section. You can just search for it. Just type in SMB1, there's the report there. Or you can add it to a dashboard, maybe sent, get it sent to yourself as a daily report. So that's a very quick and easy way to find out what systems are out on your network running SMB version 1. 